The Philly Mares are lining up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate for tonight's 11th race. Back over to track announcer Vance Cameron for the call. Fluentosity, tell me why Elm Grove mistress. Top of her trade, lock her up. You ain't Dolly. How my play starting gate swings around the turn. Entering the stretch. Now approaching a start. Finale time. The rough and pacing Elm Grove mistress, the first one away. Tell me why is second. Lock her up to the turn third. Driving up fourth on the outside, you ain't Dolly. Fluentosity fifth. Racing from sixth is Hamak plays and the trailer. Top of her trade to the back stretch they go. It's the Blue Knight aboard Elm Grove Mistress, the leader. Second, tell me why. Racing from third, that's locker up. You ain't Dolly on the cones. Fourth, fifth is Fluentosity. Now in six, Hamak plays and the trailer seventh. Top of her trade, 28 and four was the quarter. Midway round the turn for time one. They all chase Elm Grove Mistress at the three eight. Two hole ride to tell me why. Locker ups in third. Fourth is You Ain't Dolly. Now the backfield starts in motion. First up on the outside, fifth is Fluentosity. Top of her trade moving to the outside to take six. Trailing seventh. That is how Mac plays halfway home, led by Elm Grove Mistress in 59. And a one, just 30 and two in the second quarter. Elm Grove Mistress over to 5 8 with the lead. Second is Tell Me Why, Fluent Tossing on the outside. Third, in at the rail, that's Locker up fourth. Top of her trade on the outside, fifth. You ain't Dolly in six, trailing seventh. How Mac plays, they arrive at three quarters, and Elm Grove Mistress is still there. In at the rail, Tell Me Why, second. Fluent Tossing on the outside, third. On the cones, Locker up fourth, the three quarters in one. 28 and 2, homeward bound now, and it's Elm Grove Mistress, the leader. Tell me why, looks like the only one that might have an outside shot. Deep in a stretch they come, Elm Grove Mistress, tell me why, getting to her. Tell me why on the line for Corey McPherson. Elm Grove Mistress was second, lock her up third, time for the mile in 1, 56, 3. Well, I thought it was incredible last year that this mayor tell me why was a winner in 56 and change, you know, at 11 years old. Now she's another year older, 12 years old, and another terrific mile from her here tonight. Time of the mile, 156 and three. That's a new season's mark. She sat the two hole behind Elm Grove Mistress through those fractions of 28 and four. Nice half there, 59 and one, 128 and two. Really no excuse from the three Elm Grove Mistress in here. Just a mare that just loves to race and loves to close sitting right on her back, and that's a bad combination as Corey McPherson pulls her out at the top of the stretch, and she goes right on by here in deep stretch to get it done. As I say, 156 and 3 is the mile. Tell me why McPherson get it done here in the finale at Red Shores.
Tell me why arriving at the 11th race winner's circle, pacing Brown Mare 12 by Jeremy's Jet from the Jade Lovell Dam, All I Want to Be. Home with Joe McDonald, Albert Alvin, and Alexis Gans of Cornwall, trained by Joe McDonald, driven to victory by Corey McPherson, the mile 156 and 3. Tell me why in the nightcap. 